The Red Shoes is one of the most referenced movies in film history. A Simpsons recently made reference to it, and it just lives on because it's a great story. Of course, today we think women can have it all and they should have it all. Back then, that wasn't the case in 1948. This lead dancer has to decide between her love of craft and her dedication to being the greatest ballerina on earth and this guy that she's hot for. And ultimately she finds, because of this nasty conductor who's in charge of the whole thing, that you can't have both, honey. This is the first time I'd ever seen The Red Shoes. I'd read about it for years. I knew it was one of Martin Scorsese's favorite movies. And, you know, that's a lot to live up to. And I was just captivated. It's an amazing story and it's able to capture how obsessive artists are. And I'd never seen that translated to film quite this way before. The Red Shoes was done by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. They were British and Hungarian, respectively. And they're not that well known, not as well known as the title The Red Shoes, but they should be because they did gem-like little dark movies of much insight. Movies like 49 Parallel and Black Narcissus and Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Uh, Red Shoes was probably the pinnacle of their achievement. It's the most cultured, the most accessible. It's the kind of thing where even if you've never seen a ballet in your life and never wanted to, you can sit yourself down and enjoy it and really get into the whole world of, of this cultured scene. Overall, The Red Shoes really is an experience. You enter into this world, and it's a fantastical world. For example, when they actually do the ballet in the movie, which is called The Red Shoes and is based on a Hans Christian Andersen tale, it's not just filmed as a straight ballet. There are all these wonderful effects, and this is long before CGI. And there's also this incredible breakdown sequence that Victoria Page, who is the prima ballerina played by Moira Shear, who was a real ballerina at the time. She has this breakdown. She's got like five inch long lashes. She's got glitter. She's crying. Oh my God. It was the most fabulous breakdown I'd seen since Margot Kidder. In the Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, the girl chops off her feet because she's a slave to these stupid shoes and she can't stop dancing. The movie has a much happier ending. She throws herself on the train tracks. 